Hello, everybody, and welcome to Math Class. I'm your host, Mr. Eichler. And today, we are going to take a look at those little uh, plastic rulers in the drawer, uh, in the ruler drawer, that nobody ever knows what they are. They look like little plastic Ds, little half circles. We like to call them protractors. Yes, indeed. Today, we're going to learn what these things are actually for. I know you're excited. Let's dig in, shall we? Um, to begin with... What are the parts of the protractor? Well, we have um, uh, essentially a half a circle. If you start here at this zero, the blue one, and you go all the way around the other side, yes, indeed, that is 180 degrees or a half a circle. And if you start here at zero and you go all the way around to the other other side, that's also 180 degrees. It goes both directions. Kind of cool, right? If you look in between the numbers, there are nine little tick marks. And I know you know what those are for, because this is 90. Therefore, this would be 91, because I'm counting to 100. And this would be 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. And it's the same here, going the other direction. So this would be 80, 81, 82, 83, 89, 90. Makes sense, right? Um, both the upper and the lower numbers will always add to 180 degrees. So here I'm at 100 on the top and 80 on the bottom, that's 180 degrees. And this is 90 on the top and 90 on the bottom, 90 plus 90, you guessed it, 180 degrees. Over here it's 30 and this is 150, yeah, it's 180 degrees too. It's the same everywhere you go on the protractor. Why two sets of numbers? Well, because you have two types of angles. You have an angle starting from this side. So I would use the zero here, the blue numbers, to measure this angle. Ah, but look, now I have an angle from the other side of the protractor. Now I will use the top band of numbers because this bottom of the uh, uh, angle is pointing to zero. And over here, the red angle, that one's pointing to zero on the other side of the protractor. Make sense? Which set of numbers do I use? Well, look at your angle. So for this protractor, or rather, for this angle, this angle is starting at zero on the blue numbers or the bottom numbers. So I am going to measure it using the blue numbers. This angle, the blue angle, starts on this side. So I'm going to use the zero on the top band or the black numbers, and I'm going to measure it that way. So start at the zero, right there, and that will measure all the way around to 120 degrees. If I start at the zero over here, that's going to measure all the way around to 160 degrees. Now, we have a safety check that we use as well, and we simply ask ourselves, what kind of angle is it? Is this an angle or rather, is this angle an obtuse angle? Is this angle an acute angle? Is this angle a right angle? Is this angle a straight angle? All of these questions can be determined simply by looking at the angle. Okay, so this angle over here, this is a rather wide angle. Yes, you guessed it. It's an obtuse angle. So I've got two numbers to use, either 60 or 120. Well, being that this is an obtuse angle, I'm using 120. Does that make sense? Right, so this angle over here is what? That's right, Dora, this is acute. So I would use the smaller band of numbers measuring to 60 because acute angles are less than 90. Obtuse angles are greater than 90. Make sense? Right, yeah, it's pretty logical stuff. So how do I use this here? contraption type dealy thingy. Okay, first thing you want to do is put the crosshairs on the vertex. The what? On the where? Right here. This is the crosshairs, okay? At the center bottom row of every um, uh, protractor, you're going to either have a hole or you're going to have a little kind of crosshair thing here uh, with some lines and uh, 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 circles, and it's going to look like the, uh, the targeting scope on something, perhaps. This crosshair right here, you want to put this on the vertex or the base, or rather, I'm sorry, the corner of the angle. So if I got my angle here, 
and I got my crosshairs right here, I'm going to put my crosshairs right here on the vertex of the angle. Where's the vertex? Right there, you guessed it. So I'm going to move this little puppy on over, and I'm going to put it right there on the vertex of the angle. Now, the next thing I want to do is turn my protractor so that this baseline right here lines up with the bottom of the angle. So my vertex is right here on the crosshairs, and the base of the angle lines up with the base of the protractor. Now that I've got everything all lined up and pretty full, now I need to decide which numbers to use. Remember, you always start at zero degrees. So, which way is it pointing? Which set of numbers should I use? The top row or the bottom row? That's right, Dora. I want to use the bottom row because this is the zero. This base of the uh, angle is pointing to zero. So I want to use the blue numbers or the bottom row of the protractor. <clears throat> Next and finally, read the number on the correct line. So look at the other side of the angle and it's pointing right here to this number right here and it's behind the red line. O's knows what to do. 110, 130, so this must be 120 degrees. You're so smart, you got this. Silly mistake safety check. Is this an acute, uh, an acute or an obtuse angle? And yes, you guessed it, this is an obtuse angle, so I should not be measuring 60, I should be measuring 120 degrees. All right, let's practice, shall we? What does this me angle measure? And if you need to hit pause, hit pause so that you can figure it out in between each one. I'll give you a second to pause and think. Okay, I'm assuming you're unpaused, you're done thinking. What does this measure? Safety check. You sure you're right? That's right, it is a 90 degree angle. I know this because it lines up here with the zero and the other side of the angle is straight up and down forming a right angle or a squared corner. Okay, how about this one? Hit pause if you need to. All right, what is it? Safety check. Are we acute or obtuse? You got the right numbers? That's right, 80 degrees. This is an acute angle. So again, this time it's pointed to the other side of the protractor. So I'm gonna use the top row of numbers and this is lining up over the 80 degree mark. Go ahead, hit pause, figure this one out. <clears throat> All right, you ready? Safety check. You sure you're right? This is an obtuse angle and it measures 140 degrees. Very good. How about this? Uh-oh. Now it's going to get tricky. Now I got to do some line tick mark counting stuff things. Make sure you're going the right way. I'll wait. Go ahead. Hit pause if you need to. All right, I'm assuming we're unpaused. So this is pointing this way. So again, I'm going to use the top band of numbers. But now it's in between the 40 and the 50. So I need to count my tick marks. So this would be 41, 42, 43, 44. And this, of course, sitting on 45. What kind of angle is it? It is an acute angle, 45 degrees would be correct. We would not be looking at 135 because small little angle. Hmm, I'm sensing a trick. Go ahead, try this one. All right, we're unpaused, we're ready to go. Again, this is pointing to this side of the protractor, so we're gonna use the bottom row of numbers. This is 130, this is 140, so I'm going to count up 131, 32, 133, 134, 135. What kind of angle is it? That's right, it is obtuse, so 135 degrees. Good job. If you need to back up and go over this again, do that. So the next one, pretty easy, pretty... Wait a minute. 
No. I, I, maybe not. It's not on the baseline. What do I do now? How do I figure this out? This is surely a trap. It's surely a trick. I don't know. I'm stumped. Ooh, yeah, we could count. Check it out, man. So this would become zero, right? And I these little tick marks are tens. So I could just count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Hey, that's pretty easy, actually. I could subtract. Uh-huh. All right, check it out, yo. So make sure when you subtract, the only thing is make sure you use the same band of numbers. It doesn't matter which one you use. You can use the top row. You can use the bottom row. It's totally up to you. But make sure you use the same row. So here I've got 150. And over here I've got 60. So I'm not going to subtract 60 from 150. Yes, I am actually. I'm not going to subtract 150 from 60. I'm going to subtract 60 from 150. So the big number goes on top, right? So using the endpoints, subtract the little number from the big number. So I got 150 minus 60. Or if I look here on the blue numbers, I've got 120. And over here, I've got a 30. So I can subtract 120 minus 30. Either way you do it, you're going to get 90 degrees or a right angle. All right. So you ready? Let's practice. Here you go. Hit pause. Do the math. Show your work. And go. Hit pause. All right. I'm assuming we're unpaused now. This one is starting on the 10. Over here, we're at 130 using the black, the top row of numbers. So 130 minus 10 is 120, 120 degrees. Safety check. Is this acute or obtuse? That's right, Dora. It is obtuse. So we pass our safety check. It is 120 degrees. All right. So, uh-oh. This one's not nice. It's not on the numbers, man. All right, so um, 40, because that's on 40, because 40. And this is, um, well, figure it out. Hit pause. All right, I'm going to assume we're unpaused at this point. We have figured out the answer. We've shown our work, because that's what we do. 40. 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. So 65 degrees, right? No. 40 becomes zero, right? So zero, 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Make sense? Safety check, acute angle, we're gold, baby. 25 degrees acute angle. That's it, gang. That's all we got. So in your math journals, you have an activity to do today. Good luck. If you need me, I am in Zoom.